flavor is in full bloom at HelloFresh, so you guys can enjoy the taste of spring with chef-crafted recipes featuring ripe seasonal ingredients delivered right to your door. HelloFresh does more than just delicious dinners. Not only can you take your pick from 40 weekly recipes, but you can choose from over 100 items to round out your order. From snacks and easy lunches to desserts and even pantry necessities, everything arrives in one box on a delivery day of your choice. No more running to the grocery store because you're missing one ingredient. HelloFresh takes away all that hassle by delivering fresh, pre-portioned ingredients so that you have exactly what you need. And this helps you cut down on food waste as well. HelloFresh makes dinner time a snap with deliciously easy options that will please everyone at your table because they have such a wide variety. From fit and wholesome to pescatarian to veggie, they have a meal that suits your lifestyle regardless. Plus, you can swap out proteins and sides to your liking. I've been using HelloFresh for years ever since I moved out on my own. It is seriously so convenient. For somebody that's been cooking for themselves for years, I still to this day do not have a passion for it. So this just really makes things a lot easier. And I know I'm eating good, fresh produce and meats and the food is still good like it's very enjoyable hello fresh cares about quality that's why their seasonal ingredients are picked at peak ripeness and travel from farm to your home in less than seven days so you know they're fresh if you guys are interested i highly encourage you guys to go to hellofresh.com and use code aslia 16 for 16 free meals plus free shipping once again you can go to hellofresh.com use code aslia 16 for 16 free meals plus free shipping. Thank you so much to HelloFresh for sponsoring and let's go ahead and get back into today's video. Hi guys! So I recently ordered off of Amazon. This is the Sony CX405. I think is the exact uh, model of this camcorder. I'm pretty sure it's the one that em Emma Chamberlain was using in her videos for that period where she was making content with the camcorder. I'm pretty sure I ordered it not knowing that but then I looked up that exact one and I'm pretty sure it is. And Ever since I got this camcorder, it's just brought me so much joy. And what's crazy is I used to film on a camcorder for my channel when I was 12 years old. I remember I filmed like a night routine with it, filmed my little Q&As, all of that good stuff. And it's just crazy because when I was younger, I didn't think anything of it. But now that I have a camcorder again, it just brings me so much joy. It's just a different look. And if you guys watched my last video, you would have seen that. I was specifically using filters that kind of gave you the effect of a camcorder like a VHS film but now I have like the actual camera like I sitting here I have my whole Sony this is the camera I've been filming on with the high definition a whole camera that films in 4k and I want to film with this I love it it's just two completely different looks and I can appreciate both for what they are you know I don't know would you guys hate me if I film a whole video on this thing I don't know I feel like it needs to be bits and pieces and then we have this camera it's just a different look I like both it's just it's actually crazy how much cameras have progressed but I still think the quality on this thing is sick like it's good look at that yes so we are starting off the day with coming to Whole Foods. I don't ever shop at Whole Foods, but I do know that they have high quality produce. So does Trader Joe's, which is a lot less expensive, but this is closer and I go to Trader Joe's all the time because I'm finally going to put my juicer to the test. We're finally going to be using that today. I feel like I've been dragging it out through so many videos saying I was going to use it, but today we're actually going to use it. I'm actually kind of terrified but um, I reached out to both my parents but I asked my dad because back when I was 11 12 he used to be juicing all the time and I'm just lost on like for example I was watching a video on juicing you need six like six pounds of spinach for a 64 ounce juice like I'm not gonna be making that much juice but my dad actually sent me this link so it shows you exactly how much of each item you would need to make a cup and overall, I'm probably only going to make a few cups, so I'm still, this is going to be a trial and error thing, but we're going to go ahead and go inside and do a little bit of grocery shopping. I have a list of some different fruits and vegetables I'd like to pick up today.
much as I want to film everything on that camcorder, I'll let y'all breathe. I'll give y'all a break for just a, just a little bit. I'm back from Whole Foods. Oh, I got so much good produce. I spent a total of $36.77. I got all the produce that I plan on getting along with a couple of the things that I didn't plan on getting. There's this drink that I really wanted to try. I guess that they were popular on TikTok. I'm not even trying to be that person, but I don't use TikTok whatsoever anymore. I got a new phone a couple months ago. And ever since then, I was never able to get into my other account. I don't feel like scrolling and scrolling to customize my own For You page again. I literally just don't use it unless one of my friends sent me something. But I think these were popular on there. Like, I think that's where these really got a lot of traction. Um, so I've seen people try these and I was just curious. I got the watermelon one. So this is a prebiotic soda, which is really cool because I love carbonated drinks. But a prebiotic soda that's good for your gut? Let's try it. This was warm, so to be fair, I got a cup of ice. We could try it cold. And then I got that coconut water, just in case I hate this. It smells like a watermelon sour patch cube. Um, for them to call this soda is a stretch because it definitely just tastes like a sparkling drink. But more than just sparkling water, it's really good though. It's refreshing, it's not too sweet. I actually like it, like I'd be down to try the other flavors. And I also got one other thing I got. They had so, like a huge selection of coconut water. I saw this one, like I'm familiar with this brand but I've never seen this flavor. The mango. Let's try this. Mmm, together they may be good. Yeah, definitely with a hint of mango. It's not very strong, but because it's not like an artificially taste. But that's good. Mm -hmm. Those are great. We got our produce. We're good to go. I remember I was looking for one in a vlog. I see the ones I was looking at, but I can't remember if I ever actually purchased one. I'm back in the car from Target. Um, I almost went straight home, but I forgot that I wanted to stop here as well. I had a couple of things that I wanted to pick up from here. It's 87 degrees. Summer is approaching, or is it already summer? I don't know, but it definitely feels like it. Like, There's an outdoor activity I wanted to do today, and I decided to decide that will not be taking place. It will be, but just at home. But we'll still be doing that today. But yeah, let's go ahead and head back to the house and unload the car. Well, I'm back at the house now. I have everything that I got at the store at both Whole Foods and Target. I'm here on the counter. I'm gonna go ahead and put everything away. You guys pretty much saw what I got for the most part, especially at Whole Foods. I do need to go ahead and put this stuff in the fridge. Um, but I don't have any space in my fridge. Didn't I just? And it's not even a fact that I have so much food that I can't fit anything in it. I just know it's a wreck. I don't know how it's just unorganized and I don't have any of the organizers that go in your fridge but yeah I'm gonna go ahead and put everything away and clean my fridge out also okay I will show you these two things I got these two multi-purpose cleaners um we have this one by seventh generation and this one by Myers I've never seen this scent compassion flower and then this is lemon chamomile um one other thing i got more laundry detergent but this is um with downy which is a fabric softener so i feel like this is gonna smell really good i haven't smelled it yet yeah also my outfit 
I absolutely love, I just feel so, it's just so comfortable, but I'm also very confident in it. These pants are actually from Halera. Halara, Halera, I don't know how to pronounce it. Yeah, the moment I received these in the mail, I went ahead and ordered two more pairs in black and gray because these are like the most perfect, low-waisted, bubble type of pants that feel like you're wearing nothing. Like they're loose, they're not super fitted, but they give that cargo, that cargo look. So I am in love with these. And then this top is from White Fox Boutique. They had it in green and orange. They were on sale at the time. So that's when I got this top. It's actually really good quality and I like it as well. I literally could not tell you how long I've had these onions. Hey Siri, how long do onions last in the fridge? Peeled onions yeah, can they're be stored in the fridge for 10 to 14 days. While sliced or cut onions can be refrigerated for seven to 10 days. Already had lemons. That is sick. And I was craving lemon water the other day. You know, this is why it's important for me to do this. I did it not too long ago, but this is good that I'm already doing it again for obvious reasons. on my patio right now because this was something that I wanted to do with you guys in today's video and that I've been wanting to do in general. I had originally planned to do this at the park. I just set out this cute little towel on my patio and we're just gonna do it here because well earlier it was just too hot but I mean I feel like I don't really utilize my patio much um, as is so I feel like this is the perfect thing to do out here. We could just kind of sit and chill and paint so i got these canvases at target i already had the paint and the brushes and like the tray because i have done this before but i did it once painted a couple times off camera and then i just stopped same with reading like i still have so many books that i've received that i've either purchased or i got as gifts and i've yet to read so i really want to um really tap back into that as well i started reading i still have i purchased the second part to it ends with us i have it starts with us i purchased it around the time she came out with it and um i like, never actually started reading it but i did recently and i know once i open at least one of her books that i am just all in just times where i would normally just be rotting on my phone i could be doing that instead and once you find a book that you really like and this is coming from someone that never would have ever thought they would enjoy reading again it can be as engaging as it can be to be on your phone if you have the right book and you find that genre and that author that you just enjoy reading um but i also got this easel from target which i've never used one of these to actually paint because i kind of just like the idea of it being on the ground i feel like especially because i'm sitting i would have to go like this like you see how it would just be kind of awkward i don't know as far as what i'm gonna paint i had found some expo pictures on pinterest it's still like it's tolerable now because the sun is not as high in the sky but it's like a little toasty like i could be wearing a little less but it's good it's literally still 86 degrees how did it only go down a degree oh and there's a 30 percent chance of rain at four there is not a single cloud in the sky Okay, so so my video goes up in 20 minutes. As far as inspo pictures, I saved a couple last night that I thought were cool. This one, we have this one. Yeah, I thought that was cool. I also thought this one was really cool. I kind of want to do that one. It's so cute. I think we're gonna go for that.
almost forgot. I need to sketch this out first because by the time I'm done doing the sketch, if I lay out the paint now, it's gonna be dry. That's the pencil I just had. As much as I would um, love to cook my HelloFresh tonight, like that was the plan until I got home. First of all, I just, it's 10 o'clock at night and I have not even blown out my hair for my hair appointment tomorrow morning. I literally am waking up at, I have to be up at at least 7 a.m. So I'm just gonna make a shake tonight. I don't ever have shakes to replace a meal, but we're kind of just working with the circumstances right now. Plus, I mean, the shake has like over 700 calories in it anyways, so that's gonna be, Probably more than my food was even gonna be. I don't count calories anymore. I'm just, you know, maintaining, living life, eating what I want, when I want. Yeah, I mean, like in my case, for me, I like when things have more calories in it, especially when it's a good substance, you know? Like, this shake is full of really good stuff. Like, it has a lot of protein in it. And trust me, I'm gonna be stuffed after, so. Lots of ice. Just got some more oats today. Oh, that's not gonna open right. 
I literally ruined things. The plastic pieces you used to open it. I do one cup of oats. This is the shake I would have though whenever I was bulking. I was bulking because I was in a calorie surplus and I was lifting heavy, which I still am. That really never changed. So really, honestly, what made me gain weight was eating more. Like a lot of protein at that. Yeah, now I just have it because... It's because... I don't have it all the time though. <laughs> so you may be wondering how you make a shake with so much fucking oatmeal in it and it not be... Uh, what do you call it? Chunky. I just blend it twice for one. If you don't want to do that, you can blend the oats first in the blender. I know my brother Simi does that and I've just heard of it before as well and that works. But I swear putting that ice in there really helps it not be so thick because I can't do a thick shake. The texture makes me sick. A scoop of protein. I also added some honey just for some sweetness. I would add banana but I literally don't have space. I'm gonna add some Greek yogurt. I got this specifically for my shakes because it has no flavor. I would not eat this by itself. It tastes like sour cream. It has a lot of protein in it. God, is this old or something? Why is it so hard to get out? And then I use a boba straw. Mm. With the ice? It's cold and really good. I almost forgot to take my supplements. I worked with um, Copilot, care of like last month, month or two ago. And um, I used the entire box. They give you a 30 day supply for each order. So I used the whole thing. So I went through and took the quiz again on my own and I got slightly different supplements this time. But I wanted to show you guys the ones I'm taking. Yeah, I can't remember. I know y'all probably don't even care, but like I'm pretty sure this is fish oil. I know one of these is keratin and then I know one's a prebiotic or a probiotic. I think it's a probiotic. So I just finished blowing out my hair. I was realizing when I was blowing it out, I mean, I've realized it every time I've blown out my hair, but recently, like, my hair is literally yelling at me to trim my ends. Like, they're so thin. Like, you could just tell I could cut off maybe, like, an inch. An inch or something, like, all this, babe. Back whenever I used to blow out my hair, I would always just dust my ends on my own. Dusting my ends, I'm okay with doing, like, an actual hair trim. I don't think I should be doing that. I feel like I should be going to somebody that's knowledgeable on cutting hair. But even then, like, I don't have proper hair cutting scissors. I have hair cutting scissors, but I've had them for years, and they're super dull. And I feel like cutting my hair with janky-ass scissors would do more harm than good. So, as much as I feel like I should dust the ends before I put my hair in braids, we're not gonna do that this time. But a trim is definitely necessary yeah i'm gonna go ahead i'm thinking i'm gonna do my hair in like two little twists or something two little braids to just avoid knots i don't want to wake up with my hair like matted in the shape of my bonnet so um yeah we're gonna do that and then i'm gonna head to bed because we gotta wake up early tomorrow
Yeah. yeah. Well, if you see it, you see it. If you don't, mm -hmm. you're not gonna like it. Back in the car now. It is so nice to have a hair appointment start earlier in the morning. So you're done early afternoon. It's only one. That's great. My hair's still really wet in the back. I don't know what it's but yeah, this time around, I still did large knotless, but this would be considered like the coil array style. They have the curly ends, which I've never had before. And also, I got like the slightest bit of like a little peekaboo blonde moment in the back with 613, I think is this color. And yeah, I just wanted to do something a little bit different. I just thought in my head, this looks so cute. And thankfully, I mean, it looks even better than I expected because it's her. Let me go ahead and head out. Hopefully my camera like works with me a little bit. But yeah, actually, for the last couple of months, I would say I've had the urge, just the urge, to uh, kind of create this look with the blonde underneath my head um, with actual hair dye. And we all know, I think I made it very clear that I was not going to dye my hair. This is not going to work. It's going to focus on the steering wheel. It was more of like an idea, like in a perfect world, if I could do it and it wouldn't damage my hair. Okay, cool. But at the same time, that's like a permanent change until it grows out and I shave it off. And I feel like I probably get sick of it after a couple months. So, um, yeah, it was just an idea. But instead of doing that, I got, it's so dark. I got the peekaboo of the blonde with, we used Miss 613 and she definitely um, resolved that issue because that would have not been a good idea. Plus I have so much black box dye in my hair that would just never be a good idea. I'm not gonna dye my hair unless it's black. Yeah, this shit would end up just looking ashy and definitely dry as hell. Curl powder would be non-existent. I'm now on my way to Tropical Smoothie. This is kind of like now my go-to spot once I get my hair done here because I have one that's super close. I'm going here and then I'm next, I'm actually, doing something I've like never done before. So if you guys watched my vlog where I went to that flea market type of ordeal, the Magic City Flea, um, I met multiple amazing people, but one of the girls that I met there, our conversation was like a little more prolonged than other people I had talked to. So we followed each other on Instagram and we ended up like planning for her to style me basically because that's what she does and she makes content out of it. So that way, you know, like she could get content out of it and um, I already told her ahead of time I would be filming as well. Kind of like the behind the scenes of it. So that's gonna be so much fun. This will only be my second time seeing her, but I'm so excited. So I'm gonna be heading towards her after i get food i cannot wait like she said she already has stuff set up she got clothes ready and i feel like this will also be a really cool way to even find other like branch out with my style even more try out pieces i probably would have never thought of wearing because i'm more open now you know so yeah i can't wait No, it's okay. All right, guys, so I just made it to Aria's house. Would hey. you like to introduce yourself? Okay, my name is Aria. I own Scent From Above, and it's a curated selection of Y2K vintage pre-loved and upcycled pieces. As you guys saw in one of the vlogs prior, yeah. she already shopped with me, and that's how we met, so I yeah. figured we should just do a full styling day, so here we are. Yes, I'm so excited. Now, I was telling them how I thought it'd be cool because I'm, like, just kind of you know, branching out with my style because mm -hmm. I've been dressing the same for the last couple years. So this would be a good way to kind of just see other pieces or other styles. I mean, it's a similar style, but just- Right, like get a feel of like different things that you like. like. Exactly. So she no has things, <laughs> yeah. She has outfits all laid out here today and we're gonna try on a few, which is gonna be super exciting. Options, so. These oh, are yeah, I didn't even notice. Pants. Okay. Hold on, I gotta actually take your measurements so we can have like a little bit easier of a time. Okay. Can I put the camera like over there yeah, in the corner? Okay. Of course. I'm gonna sleep through it. Yeah, I have this like so awkward because when I do my auctions, I don't know, I like it to be by my curtains. It looks yeah. so cute. No, it's okay. My thing is busted. <laughs> no, it's all good. Okay. It's actually good to know for just ordering things. Right, right. Through, so okay. just tell me what to do. Um, okay, so I'm gonna go to your waist. That juicy bag is so cute. The, the tiny one? one? Yes. That one's actually for my like personal wardrobe, but I was like, for the styling, I gotta bring it out. Yeah, no, it looks good with the blue outfit for sure. Okay, so your waist is like a 30. Okay. Do you do sports? 
Um, you have such an athletic like body type. Thank you. I did track and gymnastics competitively. Competitively. Um, when I was younger, about his workout now. Okay, yeah. yeah. Okay, hips 41 and waist 30. Okay, but I actually have them like this in silver. I think, okay, it's a six. I think it should be a good fit, but let me just see what's up. It's just so I don't like waist. All right, so you're fucking with this skirt. This okay, one? 34. So this will definitely fit. It'll fit like a little lower. Okay. Obviously, because the waist is like right. the smallest part, so this will fit like perfect. Okay. Um, that is adorable too. Oh, you fuck with it. This yeah, I like okay, that. cool. I think this will also. I'll get the this and outfit. Stretchy. Sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. No, 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 no. This outfit is the most out of my. So with the green, skirt, right? yeah. yeah. And I was looking at it and I was like, I don't know, but like, I feel like it would look kind of cool together. Yeah. Um, okay, so I had this like. These, all these bottoms I had with this shirt and then like this layered, but we can always okay. not layer it or whatever. Like we can just see what okay. happens or even like bring this top and if we do the black. Yeah. Um, okay, so these will both fit. No, I think these are going to be too small. Yeah, these are like petite, petite. Okay. I wasn't sure if the guest one would be too big. Um. Yeah, you too. So. Perfect. Okay, yeah. okay, so these will all, all three of these will fit. Okay, so do you you want to fuck with the guest jeans top? Yeah, I like, do. Should like we that. do the top? Okay, and then what bottoms do you? Is it cropped or no? Um, no, but I fold you it because I like it cropped. Okay, so like I figure I'll just like fold it up when you yeah. wear it. We could, I mean, we could wear it long. We'll just see like what how, what it's looking like when it's really on. I feel like for that shirt, this the skirt cute. Yeah, like I like yeah. this because of the yellow, but I mm -hmm. feel like. It's too different style. Like I have to see it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I feel like for a more casual look, that looks. Yeah, it is super cute together. Um. Okay. Here, so I could like leave the room so you could change. Okay. Um. And then we'll just go from there with the accessories and everything. Okay. So the top and the skirt. Yeah. For now. Okay. Sounds good. Okay. Just let me know when you're done. Okay. Um, I only have like a bralette, like sports bra type thing under, okay. which would look weird mm -hmm. with the shirt. Let me see if maybe I have something. I literally did not Ooh, talk about at all. It does fit. Super cute. It fits yeah. so cute on you. Thank and you. that color looks like bomb with your complexion. Thank you. It's like a special beige. It's not like a regular. Yeah. I like beige. This mirror is not how I actually look, right? No, it's a skinny mirror. Dude, I'm like, is this body just work on no. I look like this? I agree. <laughs> Bro, I'll be like, yeah, I'm like, I look like skin, but I look like long as fuck, yeah. and like, it's not giving. Yeah, because like, here I like, but here I'm like, like the look. Yeah, <laughs> I know too. Um, let me see what I got going on. Okay. Yeah, I literally don't know what I was thinking. It was probably just early and. No, you're fine, and I, like, I could have said that. No, it's fine. I, I feel like. I actually wear the purse that I got from you like frequently. Oh my god, I love that purse, dude. Yeah, someone was saying like they would sell some part of their body I forgot for like the bag on that video. No, no way. Like, being serious, but yeah, they thought it was really cute. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Fire. Um, you have like a sports bra, not like a regular bra that? So like you do regular bra. Yeah, like it's just a Calvin Klein bra. Like it would um, look so weird under. Yeah, yeah I could try that. Stuff? Yeah. Just something where. Okay. I'm like, I don't really wear bras often, so I ain't got yeah. any to choose from. You're good. Thank you. You're welcome. I got too many hoes. I can hear you. You like to put that shit in your nose. But I still love you. Be doing shit that nobody knows. The streets they be thinking you're a lady for at home. Oh, if you ain't nasty, don't at me. I've been working all day. I like to run the streets in this dark out and come home for your back out. I hope that's okay. I can't leave you alone. As real as they come But you would rather be on them drugs I would rather hang with my 
Alright you guys, so this does close off today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I had so much fun putting it together. As much as I value integrity, I did not get around to juicing in today's video. And I feel bad because I made it like a whole segment about the grocery shopping, but just being transparent, I mean this video is sponsored so it does have a due date and I simply just do not have time to add it into this one so I will make sure to add it into the next one. I really hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!